Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to be taking a look at the personal map profile option. Now, what are we talking about when we talk about the personal map profile? Well, let's go ahead and demonstrate this. I kind of feel like I'm doing an infomercial thing here, but it don't make sense when I show it to you this way. So you first load in, you're sitting here going, oh, I think I'll go ahead and build myself a little map here. They'll make a fun little reference to Team Fortress 2 that nobody picks up on, and you'll be like, oh man, I just can't, ah, oh, ah, oh, oh, kind of a thing like that. So of course, uh, you know, you go up to view real quick and you say, all right, what do we got to do to make this thing a little bit more pleasant? You shut that sucker off and you're like, ah, that's a little bit better. I kind of like the way this is going. Um, I'm loving this. Looks pretty good. You know, let's go ahead and add a extra side here. I'm just going to type in GRN and I'll go ahead and go this way. Ah, ah, and you go ahead and panic again, sort of a thing. So uh, you're dealing with the default map options that are built into our lovely game here. Wouldn't it be nice if there was a way that we could tell it not to do that? Well, the answer is there is. And if you actually go up to game options and you go up to map display, one of the options you're going to notice here towards the bottom is this thing that says use personal map profile. Uh, the map profile, of course, is going to absorb whatever your standard profile is and is actually going to use it that way for the purposes of displaying the map itself. So let's go ahead and um, go ahead and create a new scenario here so you can all go blind again. <laughs> of course, it's like, did I activate that? No, I didn't. Let's go add a new side and we go ahead and uh, add my good old fashioned red again. Double click, ah, kind of a thing. But now what we're going to do is we're going to go up and we're going to customize this map so it looks the way that we want it to look. So I'm going to come up here. Of course, I don't like the Sentinel map. A lot of people really, really, really like the Open Topo map. Uh, one thing I actually usually do shut off is uh, the place names. I actually don't care for that. I use it sometimes, but a lot of times I do everything with latitude and longitude anyway, so it doesn't matter much to me. And I come in here, of course, I go to my uh, range symbols. I set this to selected units because honestly, it just gets so messy otherwise. Mission area, selected mission is the one that I like. Contact emissions, I always like this one. All emissions for selected, uh, fire control for the rest. So I said here, I kind of customize everything uh, sort of the way that I like it. You know, data blocks, uh, you can customize this quite a bit. Data links, I never use that. Um, I always use this option. Uh, this one I always do. Uh, this one, of course, I like to use. That looks pretty good to me. I love the fact that you can change the color of this. I like, I just, it's so cool. There's so many neat things that they stick in the change notes that everybody misses. So then what you're going to want to do is go up to game options, map display. And then this is lovely button that says here, save current map profile as personal. I'm going to go ahead and click that button. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here and press use personal map profile. So I've, I've clicked that switch. You all saw me do that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new blank scenario. Notice nothing bad has happened so far. I'm going up to create added sides. I'm going to type in red, double click. Voila, you can see that everything is stayed exactly the way that I like it. Now, the interesting thing that you'll actually notice here is if I go up to view real quick, you'll see that it actually has shut off the buttons that I don't want. If you actually go back up to game options and you were to shut this off for some reason and I close this, it's actually going to go back to whatever that one was when it was created. So keep that in mind that if I come up here and type in grin, for example, and double click, ah, it's all back once again. So again, game options, map display. I'm just going to go ahead and hit mass personal map profile. Ah, it's much, much better kind of a thing. Now, the bit that I wish, you know, if you actually were to go up to map settings and click on this, you'll notice it remembered my settings for range and illumination and targeting. And if we come down here to contact emissions, it remembered that feature as well. So as you can see, this is a fantastic way to customize this in such a way that it makes more sense to you. Keep in mind, if you have that box checked and you open it up and somebody already has it a specific way in a scenario, your mode will override their mode, which works really, really well. Enjoy.